Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Muckle Lover, and today we continue as the new Cothenian Empire. Right now, we're taking a look at different chiefs of the Air Force we can grab, bad weather penalty, more air XP gain, or combat training. Eventually, we're going to get enough air XP gain anyways, but combat training, each generation in chance, plus 5%. All weather, I like Gitalo Gallable just because he actually has a portrait, but we've just finished off the counting machine. So if you'd like to read about that again, please go right ahead. But we still have some others that we could do as well. How about we should go and secure Taran and get that war goal, and then not do it because we're going to go to war with someone else first, but at least we'll have this available to us. Taran has been in the winged body and sphere for generations by now, but her citizens still think themselves as independent. We cannot allow Taran's independence to continue, unless they align themselves with a resurgent Aquilia and threaten her national security. For the future of the nation, Taran cannot rule itself, but we're going to go to war with the Republic of Zav Zav Zavzia? Just because we can. And they do have a war goal against us. And I want to make sure that we do not have an enemy on our borders before before we're ready to go to war with the Entente. So, let's go see what happens. Do they attack us? No? Okay. And these guys are not in a war either for now, which is fine. Whatever. I really wonder if these guys can break over the river. Can they? Okay, then. Yeah, very nice. Um, I know that these guys are allied. How long will it take for us to go to... Okay, that's fine. Give him 10 days, that's fine, whatever. <clears throat> Purple Plague Unleashed? Ooh. That is not good. Wilfred von Katzenberg has gone too far. Oh boy. Oh wow. Hello. 20 combo with that's not too bad. That's actually not a bad division at all. But, not interested in using them. I'm gonna wait till these guys are in the war, and then we'll root from the front line, and then we'll just push in like crazy. Cool. Alright, so making some heavy ships, some cruisers. Uh, I really like the heavy ships. We should really focus a little bit more on the navy, actually. But overall, not too bad. Just keep making a lot of these guys. And then make some more cruisers as well. Because while well, they're not bad, they're still usable. We'll put it like that. Alright, let's go to war with these guys as well. So now we can do it like this. There we go. Frontline system. It's not perfect, but it could be so much worse. Three, two, just go ahead. I don't think they'll be able to stop us. Maybe over here they might be able to. I mean, we have to fight over rivers anyways, but... Yeah, there you go. That's not going to be too bad. Just because they wanted to kill us. And I'm like, guys, no. Because I want to kill off the Entente. Good, good, good. You guys are doing a great job. Actually, these 40 combat with knights and these tanks. 40 combat with tanks are looking not too bad, I'd say. Not too bad. The Shire is falling, all right. Or Shire, Shire. Good, good, good. Popular musician performs in Cantalot. Very nice, very nice. And, okay, swell. And no thanks. No, thank you. And we can go and grab Olivetti, but I do want to get this one instead, the AGWP, because I prefer more fuel right now. I think fuel would be better for us right now, just in general. But we've lost, that's not bad, 5,000. It looked like it was much worse. With our allies with us, we killed off 100,000. Vedina has joined the Supreme uh, Republic. All right, well, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And good. An actual, another 40 combo with division, hopefully, right? Yes. Secure Tarn. And striking Griffinheim? No, I think we're okay. Demanding Maryland, we could try that one. For too long, the Polonies of Equestria have had a hoof hold on a rightful continent. They oppress the native Griffins to exploit the land which rightfully belongs to Griffins. We will demand our lands back, or we will face or we will back our demands with a sword. It's probably a bad idea to do this, but they're still fighting the Great War, so it's probably the most opportune time for us to do so. And there they go. Now, we don't have a lot of manpower to keep these guys under wraps, so we're just gonna pop at them for now. Just go and pop at both these groups. The principal of Lushi with a four-leaf clover, Prince Gerar Whitecrest, as well as the new Hetmanat, Yevan Kraivelots. Cool. Very nice. Ooh, another army. Nice. There you go. Cool. So just in case, go ahead and get ready to invade these guys. If they say no, well, then we just go and take them out, right? Nope, nope, nope. And train if you need to, guys. That's totally fine with us. Totally, 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 totally fine. Anything else here? Not too much. I mean, we could do improved working conditions for 1% better stability, but that's not really worth it, so we're not going to do that. Crystals? Go ahead and get that crystals. We like crystals. The quest is just tall, too. That's good. Uh, we could probably use a little bit more fuel as well, but I do want to build up some more civvies, millies, and stuff like that. We need a few more military factories, though, so there you go, and then there you go. Mobile infantry is nice. Give our infantry a little bit more of a fighting chance. Well, mobile infantry, because it gives them better recovery rate and max speed, but mass motorization for more organization for all of our infantry is going to be of extreme importance. Extreme, 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 extreme importance. Ah, good. Get some cast. Love it. There you go. We're going to need some fighters as well. What do you guys? Nice. 
No, you actually have some air coverage. Good, 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 good. Pingan join the Republic of Nova Grafonia. All right. And some better planes. Good. We don't have carrier fighters yet, which is fine. We do have quite a bit more naval uh, XP, so we'll do that one next. Nice. Very nice. Assembly line productions are good. Fighter 1s, Fighter 2s. And then we're going to grab... See, it's 10 and 13. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's do that one. And let's see what these guys say over there. Uh, up next, 10, 13. Knights. Let's get some more of that. It's only 26 days. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good, I'd say. More cast. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we need more of that. That's fine as well. Just in case. Stop training for now. I'm going to make another task force, which is very good. Go and do that. But go ahead and heal up first. You guys stop doing that too. And then there you go. But you guys will go ahead and start raiding this area here. Two, three, four. Because you guys are going to do the same thing, but you have no assent a region, so... They refuse their demands. Equestrians rejected our rifle demands to free rifle Griffin land from the pony occupation, and we began to fortify the border. Alright, well, they wanted this, so... Let's go ahead and create this group first. In the age of mass industry, we'll need to expand and control our gasoline production if we're to compete. The Azenda General Wing Body of Petroli will be formed to oversee the RO oil industry. To prevent any private interest from harvesting its growth, we will nationalize the country's subsoil and ban any unapproved oil related activities. Good. Get more fuel just in general, which is very nice. Oh. Yeah, look at this Griffonian Empire. They're doing quite well, I'd say. Quite well. Alright, so how strong are these guys? We have no idea. So, let's go ahead and get some intel on them. And we should quickly learn what they have underneath. Or underneath. In their place. Uh, do we have a war goal? Does it expire? Uh, yes, 10-15, which is fine. So, I wonder if there's an event, if we just take them out, and then do we get a white piece out with Equestria, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. Common recruits would be good. Mm, expand the mines. We get even more crystals. Do we need... Eh, we're kind of okay, though. We're kind of actually okay. So, with that, suffer for them is done. Ooh, cavalry. Yeah, we're using some motorized. Uh, ground support's not bad. I don't mind getting more interception, though. That'll help our planes up. But here, maneuver speed's okay. Recovery rate's okay. Defense. We're going to be on defense later on anyways. But actually, how about our chief of navy? Political power gain, you get less naval experience. But you do get more convoy rating experience. Or convoy rating. 5%'s okay. That stuff is just okay. It's not great. We don't use carriers. So this one, actually, you know what? We'll hurt our naval XP gain. That's fine. We can get more political power. Why not? Now with you, I don't want to invade Equestria, but we'll see what happens. There you go. And keep doing that. More millies, please. Even though I do want to build up more uh, infrastructure here, regardless. So, that'll be very good to do. Oh, we need way more fighters. Way, way, way more fighters. Our light tanks go above them at first. That's fine. Even though we're actually not using that many tanks. So, there you go. And there you go. Well, I guess pretty much ready to go in. They chose their fate, and we chose ours. Alright, Equestria, see what you can do. You're not going to be able to win this one, Equestria, over here at least. Alright. Nah, we're kind of okay for that. Hey, look at that. A task force goes bye-bye. Force them to die, force them to die. Good, good, good. Actually, how many divisions do they have? <clears throat> They've lost a lot of guys. Changing lands have lost quite a few, but not, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, they, they had no chance here. Literally no chance. Force them to die. Come on. Break those light tanks. They better piece out. Oh, look at that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, another task force. Nice. Look at that. 49 convoys here. Look at that. Good. Kill every single last one of them. Oh, man. Who cares about killing them on land? We can sink literally 50 enemy convoys in a single battle. Holy cow. That's insane. Oh, look. Task force. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. We got the part of the fleet. Oh, the fall sunset. Ah. Uh, very good. And they capitulated. Beautiful. They went invisible, huh? Alright, not bad. Oh, we actually lost a sub, but whatever, that's fine. These subs aren't very good. That's okay. Well, I guess we gotta learn how to invade now. Let's go with two from you guys, go over to Sunset, and come over to Southern Cross. And then two of you guys go from here and invade there. So that's four, and then we're going to have six. Oh, uh, we're already guarding all those areas. Six. Get that little supply base as well, and then get another two. Go from here, and invade just south of it, so that we can have some soldiers who are ready to attack as well. 
Nice. And one of these divisions is not quite up to our standards, I'll say. You are not. There you go. I'm going to get a peace out event with them. That'd be kind of cool, though, but maybe not. Alright, since you're here, just go and help out and let us learn about these soldiers. Good. Well, this is what they wanted. They said no, and I said okay. Alright, so. Last draft, Griffenheim, we're okay. Fix the research deficit. Deficit. Cool. It is not that wing body lacks resources, it is that too much of it is wasted, whether on frivolous civilian projects or on exports to unworthy foreigners. We need to excavate resources thought unreachable and produce products here that we use to import. So we truly commit to it. All Turkey will be within our reach. Nice. Very nice. And we're still sinking their ships and convoys and such, so. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. Sink everything they've got. Anything else here? Not really. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do that one. Definitely, 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 definitely. We can do the next focus too, because we can. Mm. Productivism? Yeah, more factory output. Our industry must approach its existence much like our military, and view sees this self improvement as its overarching goal. The more we produce, the more Wing Body will make will be able to triumph, and nothing can be allowed to stand in the way of Wing Body and Triumph. Or the new Carth Carthinian Pact or Empire. How many have we lost? We've lost only twelve thousand. That's really good. We've killed off a quarter million of them. And we haven't touched Equestria at all, but once... If Equestria wins their war in the Great War, which they might, um, we're going to have to kill off a lot of those ships and stuff like that, so... New Maryland, their ship-wise, is nothing. Not bad. No convoys left, either. So, they can't import anything, which is good. It's very, very good. <clears throat> More cast? Why not? Actually, screw it. You guys can just help us out here, then. Let's get the computer machine. Let's grab some decryption power. All right, you're good to go. Let's let's try it. It's probably not going to go that well, but whatever. Common recruits is good. More HP. Oh, actually, we're going to do quite well here. Quite well. If we take out everything that they have, um, will they? Will we get a peace event? I kind of hope so. I kind of really hope so. And just do something like that. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Should be able to invade there. There you go. <clears throat> I'd hate for us to fight all the way to Equestria, but if we have to, you know, I'm not opposed to it. Subsidiary carrier rolls, nice. Grab some more of that as well. That'd be very, very good. Oh, there goes Hookwell. Became a subject of someone else. Um, yeah. War problem yet. Uh, we need uh, all new Maryland cores. Cool. So, probably that one. That's probably last. So, yeah. Go when you can. You guys will probably be fine. More than fine. And we have enough PP for this. Cool. There we go. More fuel? Love it. And they have nowhere to go, so their organization is just going to be dropping, dropping, dropping. There you go. Now we should be able to take that, right? No. All core lands? What do they mean? What do you mean all core lands? Oh, we need this stuff too. Uh, Duchy of Toulouse? Are you kidding me? Um, what? You're my puppet. Well, we're going to have to integrate them then. As fast as possible. Go and grab uh, some what's. Boom, boom, boom. Focus on taking them out. That's stupid. Man, I don't understand why that's still in the game. It's not the, the Equestria Ward Dev's fault. It's not their fault at all. That's just a Hoi 4 thing, I'm pretty sure. So, Decryption's nice. Get some more encryption. I... Oh. Do we really want to go over there and try to kill them off? We might need to. But protectivism first. We can help out and destroy them. Uh, Equestria has just so much strength. Well, we can see our, what our navy can do first. Let's try that. Um... Because they still have a lot of things down here. 
In any case, go and build some raider up here too. That'd be good. So we can learn where all the enemies are at. Duchy of Toulouse. That is so dumb. Duchy of Toulouse. So dumb. Did you find any convoys yet? No. Could go to war with these guys too, maybe. Eh, since we're here, we might as well, right? It's probably going to go very poorly for us, but whatever. There you go. One, two. I definitely was not planning on invading these guys in this episode, but whatever. And... There you go. Just to be sure that we can actually successfully invade. Send both of them here so we can get it done more quickly. And these guys are just kind of hanging out. So, whatever. Oh, good. That's good. And we'll do that too. Come back here and do that. Good, good, good. Are we ready to go? We got a few more days left. Not bad. And there we go. Another night division. Good, good, good. We need more manpower soon, eventually, too. Oh, what's going on? Destroyers, huh? You know what? Screw it. You guys. How about down here, too? Oh! If we can land, that'd be great! Oh! So you guys are going to get double teamed. Oh, that'd be really good to take them out now, then. But then that might piss off the Griffin Empire, and we won't be able to beat them up too well. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can wait. That's fine. Get to the mountain. All right, they're gone. I really don't want to see Equestria winning. I want to see the Changings win. But actually, how much manpower do these guys have left? Equestria has not that much. You guys still have some. Alright, so you come from here to invade right there. You to invade from here to invade right there. I want to make sure that we set ourselves up just so that we invade Equestria. We'll do okay. Good. And just in case, go ahead and set up like some soldiers here too. I just want Tarn, man. Good, good, good. We go to war when? Yep. We want at least Tarn. If he doesn't go, just go right on ahead. That's fine with us. Because we'll invade down here and open up a new front. So that should distract these guys more than, hopefully more than enough. But, uh, refineries. Extracting what little oil the gods have seen fit to provide us with only takes us so far. We need alternatives to fuel our economy and military. Thus, we create the Division de Raffinat et Production Cinetica within the AGWP to refine imported crude oil and explore synthetic gasoline production. Fighting spirit, nice. And more knights on uh, organization, why not? Go, 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 and some divisions can sort of go, but it takes some time. And they have landed. Nice. You guys go there, and you guys are heading down there. Good. All right, so let's redo all this because we're going to. Ooh, we're just going to invade. Um, we're going to go from here to Saint Mayor, Saint Salt Main. We would probably go down there too as well. Go to there, Meridian. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put them all on the island for now, even though that's not really good. Go and build up the naval base and put the naval base here too. That'll be fine. Any more ships yet? Oh yes, got another. Oh, like this are good. Good, 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 good. Hmm, you could do war bonds. We're doing pretty well already, sort of. Eh, we could do it. Why not? It's only 50. And ship designer. Ooh, that's not bad. I look at all the stuff we got here. Yeah, that's not okay. Deck armor. Armor goes down, but more. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Carrier capture, more armor and heavy attack. Eh, we'll do that one. Why not? 
All right, Sen-13, let's grab some better artillery. We're kind of lacking on artillery already. Hey, we lost a sub. Oh, that's not good. These guys are slowly dying. Um, we actually might be able to take these guys out pretty quickly, actually. Encryption's nice. Let's grab some better anti-air as well. Uh, Kingdom of Adina? Where's that? Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh. Well, they're gonna die anyway, so... I want Terran. And these guys are fighting the Empire anyway, so... Yeah. It's probably a really bad idea, but let's do it anyways. Because... Adina's just capitulated. Can we actually just move in and take him out? Yeah, I might just be able to. If we force them to die, we can definitely move in here fast enough. So. Well, it's their fault. They wanted Vidina to... Or, not Vidina. But Tarn to be alive. So we said no. And they said... And we said, okay. Reap what you sow. Ah, good. In the Lebracia Talancana Pipeline. Like a body as veins, a modern country requires pipelines running through it. The Lebracia. Region is already well connected to Carthen, but we need to build new pipelines connecting it to Talancana. Nice. Galfredo Guzzini is very good. And also, I'll throw on some logistics companies for these guys as well, so. Not bad. Oh, Gareta Zarifati is dead. When a Bicolini's assistants delivered him a letter, it's from Francistria Maduce. <clears throat> Bicolini smiled. Ah, oh, must be another letter from Garita, that little red sweetheart. He grabbed the envelope, sliced it open with his claw, and took out the message, however. As he began to read it, his smile faded, crumbled, and became a face of shock, horror, and above all hate. He crumpled the letter and threw it away. <clears throat> Maduce, what did the message say? The assistant asked. It was from one of the black wings of LFP, the Francistrian branch of PNF. He took a deep breath before continuing. It said Garita had challenged his rival, Vortio Felice, into duel, and she... There was a silence as Bicolini seemed unable to continue speaking. The sister nodded in understanding, I'm sorry for your loss. She was the greatest asset to the fascist party and a great artist. Bicolini slammed a cl clench claw at the wall and growing in fury. She was my lover for ire's sake. What does this upstart Vittorio think he is? He'll face a full wrath of supremacy. Wing Barty will avenge your death. The sister was taken aback, but would remain calm. Understood, Duce. Shall I relay the orders preparing to war for the military? Bicolini panted heavily as a tear flowed down his feathered cheek. No, there'll be no preparation. We should go to war at once. Oh, we're going to go war with them immediately. Francistria, huh? Damn, I wanted to lose. Let's finish these guys up first and see what happens. So, hope we got enough time for this. And get some better artillery too. Well, that's not good. Fall of Aquila, good. Come on, guys, keep going, 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 going. And we, how are they not capitulated yet, man? That's probably the last one we need, right? There we go. That's what I thought. National Park. Probably good time. Uh, you guys can definitely have this. I don't really care about this spot. But we'll take this. Nice. Um, take you guys and stop doing that as well. I want you guys to come around here. We gotta do this fast. Drain Terran. That'll be good. We gotta wait for these operations real quick first. Um, oh. Well, whatever. Procure sense Francisco. If you like about that, please go right ahead. As soon as we can go to war, we will. So. How dare you kill our lover? No, 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 no. Not today. Not today. And they're gone. As they should be. Not bad. That's a lot of Griffonian Empire. Hopefully they don't want to kill us. That'd be really bad if they did want to, so. Uh, you guys can train for now. You guys can train if you need to as well. And begin the invasion. If we can. <clears throat> Take that one off. That's fine for now. Wait, can we not go? What's, what's going on? Naval supremacy. God dang it. Are you kidding me? Get some radar then. That'll help out. Get some airplanes here too. And get some naval bases here as well. There you go. Alright. Take that... Take both these guys. Take that off. Wait, what? No. No, 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 no. Take this off. Focus more over here. Improve anti-air. Let's get even better anti-air. 
Oh, and then we have some air stuff, maybe? 1013, of course. Uh, we're doing relatively okay around here. Uh, nukes, that's that, that's next year. 1014, uh, get more fuel, maybe? Eh, we're actually kind of okay. Get some more medium tanks. There you go. Come on, is the thing done being made yet? Oh, we got one airbase here, that's good. 37%. Air superiority and stuff like that mechanized. That's good. Let's grab some Kampfgruppe. That'd be very good, actually. Where, where's the airbase? We already built an airbase here. So I'm not sure where it is not at. Where is it? You guys have an airbase here, which is nice. Um, there we go. Good, and rubber autarky. The DRPS has seen some success in producing artificial rubber. If we wish to invest into it wisely, we can expand our vulcanized rubber production on a vast scale. And with it, true autarky in that sector is achievable, something that will make both our industry and military the envy of the world. Which is good. Very good. Oh, that's not good. Come on, just invade. How do we not have enough supremacy here? Seriously, that doesn't make a single lick of sense. Um, go home and rebase here then. I come back out and do this area too. There you go. Was it? Did I just not click on this one? I might not have. There you go. Nice. So your goal is to meet up immediately. Don't make sure just one of these guys does not leave. Go and come down there and. Just link up. That's that's gonna be super super important. Tenochtitlan, Tino Tenochtitlan, and then we'll throw everyone over here. Actually, you guys probably want to stop doing that and get ready to go over because this is gonna be a massive war in an area that does not have a lot of supplies or will not have a lot of supplies. So, um, can we build here? Come on, game. Don't let me click on just these guys. There you go. And then there you go. Lots of naval bases. And have they linked up? Yes, they have. Good. Now we can do this. Screw it. All you guys, go right there. I wanted to end this war, but they said no. Go, go, go. And also make sure you don't go through here. I don't want to lose the army. I really don't want to lose the army doing this. Eh, not too bad. Oh, we found some enemy divisions. Hopefully we can build ourselves up here fast enough, though. I'm going to... Uh, I can't get these guys force attack. That sucks. Uh, anti air is 1014. Happy 1014, everyone. Let's go and grab some of this. No, that's not that. Uh, over here. Uh, get some more construction speed, actually. That's a little bit more important right now. Keep building all that stuff up. Good, we, got, we made some more naval bases, that's good. We need infrastructure, though, really badly. Tenochtitlan, that's next. Actually, where is that one? Oh, yeah, you guys gotta go back to the top. No, 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 we got we gotta get some infrastructure here. We got too many soldiers over here. Rubber autarky, that's good. And we're gonna go and grab the log expand the logistical core next. Her armies are outpacing our current supply trains and messaging systems, jeopardizing the integrity of our fighting forces and their capacity to drive far and deep into enemy territory. Focusing on improving and integrating logistical and signal battalions to support our faster divisions will make our forces more effective. Oh, guys, I need you to keep going. There's no stopping here. Seriously, just keep going because we really need a lot of supply bases. Supplies gonna be so bad here for a while. So. Keep moving, keep going, keep going. Keep building those roads faster, faster, faster. How are you losing? Good. I just gotta buy enough time for the changing lands to defeat Equestria. Because I don't want any of this territory. I don't really don't care about it. So. Alright. We still have a good surplus of all extra stuff. Managed to equip Good. Oh, we can integrate those guys. There we go. Now we got them. Now we can do this, hopefully. We can't... All core lands are owned. Or by one of their subjects. You know, if you integrate somebody, you should really just core them all. Um, what are we going to do with these guys? You guys actually can probably be converted. So let's convert you guys to our knights. There you go. You guys, I just want to save a lot of manpower. This stuff is all nice. They're all 20 combo with, which isn't bad, but... Eh, whatever. 
We need that manpower for now. Screw it. Whatever. This is a god awful area to invade. Oh, so bad. So bad. There you go. Come on, changelings. Supplies getting worse here. That got a little better, actually. They actually got a little better, which is not too bad. Just a little better. Oh, crap. We got been cut off. That's not good. Get on out. I want to throw you all here, but we really can't really afford that. Hmm. Get some more better light tanks. Still not throwing my tanks over there just yet. Where do we make... Oh, you guys didn't even get over there yet. That's good. So it's literally just all you guys just over here. So you guys just... Okay, get rid of that. Okay, quit out of that. There you go. It's literally just one army here that we have, so... Which is fine, which is fine. Improving infrastructure already, which is nice, 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 nice. The National Anthem Debate. In recent days, the debate has been growing out of the Black Church's control over the National Anthem of Wing Bari. La Marcia Real de Ordinanzana has been the national anthem for close to 100 years, but ever since Bicolini and his fascists took power, their own anthem, Giovineza, has often forcefully supplanted it. Those loyal to the king see this as a great betrayal of winged body and tradition, but the king has remained silent on the issue. There is now a debate in the parliament on whether La Masia Real de Ordenazana should be officially replaced by Giovineza as the official national anthem of the nation. It is expected to go to the Black Church's way, after all. La Masia Real de Ordenazana has no official lyrics, while... Giovineza has such wonderful verses as with a Wingbardian's pride swear fealty to Bicolini. This mandatory anthem is merely the Griffin showing how much they love El Duce. Unlike his father, Prince Gumberto has not remained silent on the issue. He has instead proposed La Leganda del Pumava as a compromise. A popular song dates to the Falcor War and tales of the flooding of the river. Pumav, hailing or halting Falcor's invasion of Wingbardi shortly after the disastrous battle at Cla Porreto and how it allowed the edgers. Arigio, as their Cito, time to launch a counterattack required to push Falcor back into final victory of the Battle of Garibald Germano. With the debate being held, who will carry the day? Not aligned. Um, I think the compromise is not bad. I don't want any more non aligned, though. For the youth, for Bicolini. We'll go this way just because we might get that later on, so we might want to do that one later, too. So, ooh, they're looking not very good at all. Wow, that is really not good for them. But if we push out further, what's supply like around all of these areas? 19, 50, 59. If we push out, that means this area won't be so bad, so we could try it, maybe? It's pretty risky. Oh, but expand logistical core. Next up, we're going to get some more supply and improve our logistics companies. Royal support. Beacon Claw. Let's do this one. There are more to army than its weapons and soldiers. The support, staff, and medical personnel have always been integral in military history, but we can form dedicated battalions suited specifically to support the fighting griffins of an army, which is good. Very, very good. We have to push out so we get some more supply. Because it's so bad right now. Oh, Christmas done. That's nice. Um, we could, we could become a spy master. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that one. And then you guys go down to here. And then you go to there. Supply, supply, supply is always bad. It's always bad. <clears throat> Lucy offers trade deal. The government of the principality of Lucy offers us a trade deal. They like to buy several trains from a country to improve the life of their citizens and further modernize their country. They're willing to pay a good price for the trains. Sure, very good. The God Taiwai, the foundation of the AGWP, has not been an easy affair. Due to the poor economic situation of the kingdom, the project was originally underfunded. The original chair Griffin put in charge of the operation quickly departed for fear he was being set up for failure or worse. In his stead emerged Genrico Gatai. <clears throat> he was known as a rather crafty industrialist in Talancana. Some of his ventures were impacted, but instead of abandoning them like some others when the AGWP was created, he embraced it and began to lobby the government of over participation in it. After all, within the government began to see the position as doomed to fail, it was awarded to Gatai. Under his leadership, the company was reorganized more efficiently along less bureaucratic lines, however. The budget of the AGWP was still an issue. Gatai's answer to it was the Tal Talancana scheme. With much fanfare and press coverage, he announced that incredibly rich methane and oil deposits were found in Talancana, and that soon Wingbari would become an oil-independent nation. This quickly rose confidence in the company, and, and many rich won't... Wingbardians and capitalists began to buy into it, providing the company with much needed some some much needed cash. <clears throat> 
The reality was a bit less fantastic. Oil deposits were indeed found, but they were very poor compared to the methane reserves. What he did was using natural gas instead to boost the development of natural industry, national industry in the region. The gas would be a cheaper, more functional substitute for the all-important coal imported at great expenses. As many of these industries belonged to Gatai's family or friends, he benefited highly from the move. This could have been one of the greatest scandals of the wing body in history, but the ultimate move ultimately led to a boom in the region and the high profits were plowed back into the various branches of the AGWP, allowing to grow even more and actual strike actual oil deposits. Far from getting fired over the scheme, Gatai has become a media darling and a powerful political actor. Some are calling him corrupt and the move a threat to our government's integrity. Gatai prefers to call himself innovative. Not bad. Very cool. Wing body does need some new innovation. Very, very good. Now I stopped attacking just because I want to consolidate our lands a little bit more and improve our infrastructure here because it's so bad. It's just so ungodly bad. Uh, they signed the deal though. The government of Lushi signed their deal and the trains have been prepared for them are now on the way to Lushian lands. We should expect their payment shortly. Let us hope that this only strengthens the friendship between us. Nice. Okay, look at that. A lot of these areas, not every area, but a lot of these areas are actually improving in terms of uh, supply, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. If we attack, could we win down here actually? We might be able to maybe that'd be good and these guys are slowly losing it looks like but that's not really good for us man that's really not good i hope they can do well i really really hope because our success is riding on them so even though these guys aren't suffering too much either i don't want to throw another army here just yet it's not going to be really worth it if we do that so royal support court cool uh armored trucks tank designs Elite unit training. As the warfare continues to advance, the necessity of specialized formations of troops has become more apparent. By investing in the training of such troops, Wing Body can achieve a greater degree of flexibility. Strategic flexibility. Strategic flexibility. It is very good. Mafia influence. He's, he's a little bit more stability, probably. I might actually throw you guys over here now as well, just because it looks like it's going okay to the point where we can we need some you know heavy hitters here. So we'll throw you guys in the mix. And we're looking okay. Okay, we were looking okay. Now we're not looking so okay. Mm, I might have you guys actually have out right there. Keep pushing out so we can get some better infrastructure. Oh my goodness, these areas are just so bad. Why is it zero, man? Why is it so underdeveloped? Oh my goodness. Go with more of that if you need to. There you go, better anti-air. Nice, get some more of that as well. Logistic companies... Absolutely logistics. 53 days, that's good. That's actually pretty good then. Um, get, get a dockyard down here too, because we could probably use one. And get one up there too. There you go. Should have built more civvies earlier, but whatever. Go, go, go. Move quickly enough so you can don't have to deal with a lot of this garbage infrastructure. <clears throat> Alright, what else do we have here? Tanks? Army? You know what? I said we'd screw speed, but we might actually want some speed. Uh, we're grouping though. Motors attack. Uh, ground support. Yeah, ground support's not bad. We could probably do that one. And probably raise the conscription level again. I really don't want to have to fight these guys, but it is what it is. Portland. Nice. Take Portland so they can't do anything about this. Excavation 4 is good. Uh, what's up next? 10 at 14. Oh, we forgot about guns and such. That's not good. Take everything. Take everything they have. Leave nothing for them. Alright, so... Oh! Holy crap! They're actually pushing down south. Look at that! Nice! They only... Oh, that's not bad. The question is only 82 divisions. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty darn good. I sent 14. Let's just get... Make, make some better uh, light tanks, I guess, first. But medium tanks as well. Improve what we got. Improve what we got already. Nice. We're look, we ain't looking too bad now, are we? Elite unit training? Nice. Go, go, go. And you guys do the same thing. Supplies might be good enough. Well, actually, no, they're not. Eh, they might actually be... Oh, it's hard to tell. <clears throat> we're also throw the other army here, too. Maybe. Maybe. Cool. Let's go and do some new artillery. Aside from fighting Griffin, artillery has defined the history of warfare. While the concept hasn't really changed, equipment does, and we can improve upon the current artillery designs to rain more death upon our enemies. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why we can't do this one. All core states are owned by us. We had took everything out. Ooh, Zafia asked for an alliance. A strange group of griffins from the east calling themselves the Kingdom of Zafia have expressed interest in joining together with us for mutual assistance and protection. The griffins have a very have a history of fierce warriors and might be useful additions to a coalition, though they are pretty far away. Uh, they technically already are in our alliance, guys. So, yeah. Ooh, that's not bad. Actually, I'm like I'm going to start cutting these down by quite a bit because we don't have that much more manpower. It's a good thing we're actually at war with Equestria. 
Just so we can actually raise a conscription level next before they die. So. Because we're going to need these guys against the Griffonian Empire. Let's just be real. Nice, 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 nice. This actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Ooh, we lost a combo. That's not good. I lost Pegasus. Good. Um, not bad, not bad. Conf group is good. Ooh, I do like Modern Blitzkrieg. We could go Desperate Defense, so we could really use an extra pop. 5% more population would be really good. Backhand blow. That's okay, that's okay. That organization, though. Ooh. Ooh. I think we'll do okay without this. I almost never go with Volksturm, but let's, let's go with Volksturm. Let's try it. I almost never, ever go down that way. We're going to try it. Yeah, look, the change is doing pretty good. I love it. Get some of that as well. Screw it. Just throw everyone here now. Even these guys. Alright, so you guys all come here. And I'll take them out. I don't think those guys will be able to survive too much, really. So, oh, oh good. Yes, yes. That's the one thing I really, really wanted here. That's so good to get. I wonder if... The changelings want all of Equestria. Hmm. That's a good question, actually. Okay, so are they broken? I don't think they're broken, but... That's looking very nice for us. Rising Mafia Influence. Uh, we can actually use more stability right now, but we can kind of probably wait. Uh, grab more defense. No. no, no I said we wanted all adult serve. That's going to hurt output, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, let's go to Regia Aeronautica. Prior to the collapse of the old empire, Wing Bari was home to one of the most vibrant and active scenes of aeronautics experts on the continent. With the government once more united, we can again make our nation the cradle of modern aviation, which would be very, very good. Hmm. Oh, what did we lose? Probably another ship. Oh, actually, we sunk something. Look at this. We sunk some destroyers. Nice. Oh, look at that. Convoys, destroyers, and cruisers. Paying for transit is gone, all right. Hey, not bad. We found some of the fleet here. Ten destroyers, Crystal Fair. Yeah, I don't know if they can really ha have that without getting killed. We actually find the, t the enemy's navies. Nice. I wonder how many ships they made, actually. That's oh, a little bit too ahead of time for us. Let's get some better engineers, actually. Because we're going to need that against the Griffonian Empire for the next episode, probably, too. Nice. Nice. Oh. More destroyers. How many? Hold on. How many? We're doing extremely well. Thank God for the changelings. A two-front war when we take out New Maryland is not bad. They still have 82 ships. Oh, some battle cruisers. I do have a carrier, so. Guys, so be a little bit careful here. Convoy's good. Nice. We actually lost a destroyer, though, which sucks, but whatever. Oh! We integrated these guys, remember? So now we actually have their ships, too. So that's not too bad. Wow, we've lost a lot of subs. Holy crud. Regia, and you guys are not great, but I'll just show you guys here too. There you go. Um, let's do this one. Reinvest in air development. Designing a good fighter aircraft requires a degree of technical skill that we currently lack. Offering generous contracts for new models will entice designers to produce a truly modern fire, but we can use that we can use to be the pride of our air force. Nice. Yeah, Jesus Christ, this is really good. Keep going, keep going. You're doing a great job, guys. Tremendous job. Oh, Stalingrad didn't even help him out. Look at that. Nice. If you guys want to come down here too, that's fine with me. There you go. You guys can focus on taking these guys out really quickly first. More military factories. Oh, we'll just throw you at the bottom with more empty air. That's fine for now. Convoys go bye-bye. Nice. Holy crap. We have lost quite a few guys here. We did do a third of everything here though as well. So, Anti-tank is very good. And we'll grab some of this. Improved infantry equipment, and after engineers, we'll grab even better engineers. It just, we're going to need a lot of defense, a lot of entrenchment. So then after this one, we're going to grab some better planes. Uh, it's actually a little bit ahead of time for that one. Recon. Better recon. Cool, there you go. And what do we have here? Oh, oh, we actually lost something. A house of Irie. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we actually lost a sub. That sucks. Yeah, we need to get some sub threes, probably. What is going on down here? Oh, these guys have been cut off. That's good. Wow, would you look at that? No one's feeling really good around here, are they? Nope, and that's okay. Oh, you guys did a good job. Nice. Let's speed on through this side, then. 
Speed, speed, speed. House of Iris gone. Yeah, we're going to definitely fight those guys later on. Oh, they're not really doing that well against the Crystal Empire, though. So, um, You guys can... I don't know what you're doing over there, guys. It's just the changings you got to kill off. Um, yeah, yeah, I think they're kind of screwed. I think we need to kill the Crystal Empire too, but a two-front war between us and them is not bad. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh well, I guess they went to war with us. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that's not cool. They just go to war with us. Um, hmm, that's really not good. We didn't get even a, a description of why they want to go to war with us. That doesn't make any sense. So you, you know what? We're gonna keep doing this. Um, I'm gonna probably go off screen and fix this up so we don't actually go to war with them real quick. So I'm oh, gonna do this. So let's read this one and then we'll reconvene. Wing Bard is a good number of competing or competing aircraft designer companies. And while competition is normally a great motivator for innovation, it would perhaps be better if their efforts were better coordinated under a centralized body. Wing Bard needs an aeronautics institute, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So oh, I've kind of I wouldn't say fixed it, but rearranged things a little bit. So earlier, like when we invaded Equestria, I threw in so many more divisions. Earlier on, when we had a pretty good foothold and just push up that way. As you can see, the changing lines had to kill them off as well. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, though, that there's no event where you just take New Maryland and then Equestria just says, Hey, okay, we'll peace out with you. Maybe there is. I don't know. But I just, like, charged straight into Southern Equ Equus with all our armies and, you know, with the changings there. Just kind of took them out. So, it is what it is. Uh, as you can see now, the, the Reich's back to declare war on us, which is not very good. Not very good, but it is what it is. And how many men are we? How many guys we have to kill? Uh, that's not bad. They're on service by requirement, even though I think we are currently on all those serve. And a few focus I've done. Uh, I've done the Royal Aeronautics Institute as well as refund the firearms industry. Our weapons are mostly comprised of old models of rifles that are beginning to show their age. Offering some incentives to firearms manufacturers like Biketa would hasten the development of new firearms as well as refund the Carthen protocols. The Carthen Pact has kept the South safe for decades since the fall of the Empire. We should take time to reaffirm our commitments to our allies and celebrate our long friendship. Also, someone's just funny on us. Is our little puppet, the Kingdom of Zophia, is trying to justify on the Kingdom of Lushi now. So we'll see what happens with them and expand the Pact. To truly ensure the freedom of the South in the leading position of Winged Body, the Carthenian Pact must be expanded. Only together can we stand against Northern Expansionists and the Wicked Beasts of Communism. So that'd be pretty cool. But hopefully we can hold here. Um, We're not doing well right here, which is kind of not doing well for us, but it is what it is. Um, also, I didn't realize this. So, actually, I don't do allow citizenship for ponies, finally, which is weird that it, it took us just to literally annex them, but okay, whatever. Uh, very good. Actually, what's the compliance level here? Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, what was it? Where was it? Drain Terran. So, if we do this, it removes flooded from the provinces, in which we get more speed, but we lose our defense and de entrenchment speed. So, I didn't even realize that this one gave us defense on bonus on our territory, which is supposed, probably supposed to be used against us, but... I think that'll be okay, but let's see what happens when they are, as they're killing us. Let's see if we can do well. Yeah, this one's not doing so well down here. This side is not doing very well either, which is not very good. Um, but you might actually be able to push out here, potentially. So we'll see what happens. Over here, not, we just got encircled. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, guys? Why did you guys get, get us encircled? Why did you guys get us encircled? Man. Alright, so we need more divisions over here immediately, so I'll just go, go over here and deploy them. So, and I think I'll probably end the episode here, and uh, we'll resume this in the next one, though. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully beat the Griffonian Empire, and have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.